Fox News contributor, Judge Janine Pirro. <laughs> Judge, how are you? I love the sound on your show, Larry. I'm great. How are you? You know, you know, Judge. I, actually, ju- I think it's. Judge, he it's chooses. More interesting than me. Judge, he cho- Judge, he chooses the sound, and I have no idea what he's going to play. And then you heard that excerpt. It's from it's from um, a Jaws, and it's Captain Quig going. Yeah. You know, here's to swimming with bow legged women. And I just shook my head. That's not exactly what I was chosen uh, for 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 yeah. you for you, Judge. Judge, thank you so much yeah, for taking well, the time. I, I appreciate thought it. That was curious, but anyway, it's great <laughs> to be with you. Thank you. Maybe we can get a cause of action against him. I, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, for the intentional infliction of emotional distress. I understand it well. There you go. (laughs) Now, Judge, here is my concern. President Trump, as you know, has just authorized the total declassification of all the documents having to do with what I call Obamagate, the Hillary email scandal. But I also remember uh, A.G. Bill Barr, Judge, saying something to the effect of overzealousness is not the same thing as criminality. My fear is none of these people are going to be brought to justice, whether it's Brennan or Comey or Strzok or Page. What do you think? You know, I, I got to tell you, Larry, I, as you said, I've been a prosecutor, a judge, and a DA for over three decades. I have I have really devoted my life to law and order, law enforcement, and a, a, a lady justice. And what I am seeing today, if it goes, as I suspect, where there are very few indictments, uh, I will have lost complete faith in the justice system. And I don't want to do that because I'm a believer. I believe in truth and justice. I believe in law and order. And all of a sudden in this country, it's it's like, like why is it taking so long? Mm-hmm. What is the issue? I get that you've got witnesses all over the world. And, you know, but what, what have we been doing for the last four years, almost four years? It's not like we didn't know what was going on. And it's not like you have to wait for the IG. He could have done, you know, an investigation at the same time. So I, I'm frustrated, as many people are, uh, but, you know, hope springs eternal in me. And, uh, you know, but at the same time, we can't deny the lies. And that's why I wrote, don't lie to me and stop trying to steal our freedom. I'm just sick of it all. I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of what they say about the president. I'm sick of the fact that there is no law and order. There are no consequences anymore. People storm and and, and burn and loot and and assault and kill other people, and they just walk out free. It is this is not the America that our founding fathers uh, uh, had in mind. My guest is Judge Janine Pirro. As if you didn't know, the book is called "Don't Lie to Me and Stop Trying to Steal Our Freedom." Judge, where is the Durham report? Uh, you know, and that's another one. You, you know, now you're going to get me fired up. I'm going to sound crazier than the uh, than the intro background. <laughs> um, I don't know where it is, and you know, maybe maybe what they're trying to do is maybe they're trying to say, well, we're going to keep it till after the election. Uh, you know, because we don't want to impact the election. Look. Justice delayed is justice denied. And as far as I'm concerned, justice has been delayed. And the loss of faith in the justice system is too much for all of us at this point. We've got to have some reassurance that this is a country where the laws are followed, or at the very least, that not, I don't want to hear that some people at the upper echelon don't have to follow the law, but I do. You know, it's always been a problem in every country that the rich and the famous and those with connections get away with things. But I have always felt, and, and I, I, as a DA, operated as if that was just a fallacy. I'm starting to wonder now. I mean, Hillary Clinton's, uh, that, that organized criminal enterprise known as the Clinton Foundation, an alleged 501c3, I mean, they haven't had a real audit. And it, guess who was looking at it and then dropped it? James Comey, when he was the United States attorney in the Southern District of New York, when I was the district attorney at the same time. He and I worked together. I mean, it is just so disappointing, the whole thing. They want raw power, and they don't care about us. We are irrelevant to them. We are, we're not even part of the picture to them. The book is called Don't Lie to Me and Stop Trying to Steal Our Freedom. It's up on LarryElder.com. It's written by my guest, Judge Janine Pirro. Judge, more people felt that Hillary should have been prosecuted for having an unsecured basement, uh, server in her basement, and then lying about sending and receiving classified information. More people felt she should have been indicted and charged uh, than felt that Donald Trump should have been charged with Russia-Trump collusion. You know, here's the difference. One was investigated and one wasn't. Mm -hmm. The one that was investigated showed proof positive that there was no Russia collusion. And now with the information we're getting from John Radcliffe, the DNA, 
That's as if we didn't already know that she paid for the dossier, which is nothing more than a bunch of rumors that are unverified and barroom talk. And in the end, you know, she started the whole thing. And that was investigated. Press couldn't find that the president had any connection. But not her. She doesn't get an investigation. Her pal Jim Comey, who I am embarrassed to say I actually knew and worked with, uh, he made it so that she could get away with whatever she wanted. And, you know, you tell me that Jim Comey at the hearing before Congress didn't know, you know, what what intent meant or or I forget what the word was. He was consciously disregarded and reckless. Mm -hmm. He didn't know the meaning. Give me a break. Every prosecutor knows the meaning of that. And it's it's a sad commentary because America, unfortunately, is seen the Democrats are capable of doing. And what they've done is now they've lied. And now they've created a whole narrative, just like Russia collusion, uh, that is that they're looking to replace this president so that they can gain the power again. And, you know, and don't lie to me. You know, it's the third in the trilogy, Larry. And then I did Radicals, Resistance and Revenge. And then this one. And I did this with footnotes that identify the lies. So if you have a problem with someone, go in there and get the footnotes because it's very clear. They just lie. And, uh, you know, they'll say, oh, President Trump lies. Really? Like when he said he'd bring uh, the, the embassy to Jerusalem? Really? Like when he said that, you know, unemployment would meet, would, would uh, you know, have unexpected lows? And, you know, did he lie about getting rid of the caliphate? All of the things that he's done. And, oh, no, he's a liar. And, you know, then he comes out. He has COVID. The guy fights through it. He is the life. Larry, is a metaphor for um, how this country should deal with COVID. He dealt with it head on, worked through it, stayed on track, and came back to work. And that's what America should do. Enough with this. You know, we need to close down everything. In New York City, Larry, what they're doing now is they're closing down zip codes, and they want to close the synagogues. The synagogues are being targeted. Churches are being discriminated against. If you want to protest in the tens of thousands, have at it. It's your time in history. What a bunch of nonsense. But if you want to go to church, not so fast. Judge Janine, 45 seconds left. Handicap the election for us. We're going to wake up on November the 4th, November the 5th, and see what kind of headlines. Well, it's going to be undecided. You know, unless the president pulls it off easily, on election night, uh, the fact is that judges have given states the ability uh, to continue to count votes and these mail-in ballots for up to five, six days after the election. And then there's going to be then there are going to be lawsuits over it. Look, all of a sudden we need mail-in ballots. I have no problem. Pass the law, make it real. But we can go to Home Depot for the last five months, but we can't we can't vote. We can't go to a polling place. I mean, come on. Anyway, uh, read my book. It's uh, it sounds just like me. <laughs> I wrote it. And the book and is called Don't is of- Don't Lie to Me and Stop Trying to Steal Our Freedom. It's up on LarryElder.com. Judge, 15 seconds. Do the Republicans retain control of the Senate? Man, I hope so. It's going to be razor thin in some areas. Yeah. You know, we've got there's a there's a whole uprising going on right now and a lot of foreign money coming in. And let's just hope the truth and justice went out, because that's what I'm wedded to. God willing. Don't lie to me and stop trying to steal our freedom by my guest, Judge Janine Pirro. Judge, thank you so much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Larry, thank you. Bye bye. God bless. 888-971-SAGE, 888-971-7243. Coming back, the Omaha man who killed himself. His family says he was portrayed unfairly in the media, killed himself rather than face charges of murder when the county prosecutor initially said it was completely and totally self-defense. And then all of a sudden they did a 180 and indicted him. He has now killed himself. Why isn't this a national story? I'm Larry Elder.